In the words of Arthur Schopenhauer, the world is my representation. This is a truth valid with reference to every living and knowing being. Born in the late 18th century in Danzig, a city that was then part of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, Arthur Schopenhauer was a philosopher who would go on to leave an indelible mark on the world of thought. Raised in a wealthy mercantile family, Schopenhauer was exposed to the world of ideas from a young age. His father, a successful businessman, instilled in him a deep appreciation for literature and the arts, while his mother, a novelist, nurtured his intellectual curiosity. The world was his oyster, and he soaked up knowledge like a sponge. Schopenhauer's philosophical journey began at the University of Göttingen, where he was deeply influenced by the works of Plato and Immanuel Kant. He was particularly drawn to Kant's idea that our perception of reality is shaped by our minds, a concept he would further develop in his own philosophy. Schopenhauer took Kant's idea of the world as a representation of the mind and gave it a unique twist. He proposed that the world was not just a product of our minds, but of our will. He saw the world as a reflection of the individual's inner desires and drives, a realm shaped by our unending quest for satisfaction. This concept of will would become a cornerstone of his philosophy, setting the stage for his later ideas on compassion and morality. Despite his pessimistic outlook on life, Schopenhauer's philosophy was not devoid of hope. His belief in the power of compassion and empathy to alleviate suffering and bring about moral actions was a beacon of light in his otherwise bleak worldview. In Schopenhauer's early philosophy, we see the roots of his later ideas, a world driven by will, and the individual's perception of it. His philosophical journey was just beginning, and the seeds sown in his early life would blossom into a profound understanding of the human condition and the world around us. Schopenhauer once said, a man can do what he wants but not want what he wants. This quote encapsulates Arthur Schopenhauer's unique and revolutionary concept of the will. In Schopenhauer's philosophy, the will isn't a rational decision-making entity. Rather, it's a blind, irrational force that drives all human behavior and indeed, all of life itself. This idea was a bold departure from previous philosophical ideas about human motivation. Prior to Schopenhauer, many philosophers had viewed the will as a rational process, guided by reason and conscious decision-making. Yet Schopenhauer challenged this notion, proposing that the will is not subject to our control and doesn't follow the laws of logic and reason. Instead, he argued that the will is a primal, unthinking drive that pushes us towards our desires. It's always active, always seeking, always striving for satisfaction. Yet this satisfaction is always fleeting. As soon as one desire is fulfilled, another arises, and the cycle of striving and desiring continues. This relentless pursuit is, according to Schopenhauer, the source of all suffering. Moreover, Schopenhauer pointed out that this constant striving is ultimately futile. The satisfaction we seek is an illusion because the will's desires can never be permanently satisfied. This perspective paints a rather bleak picture of human existence, marked by constant striving, perpetual dissatisfaction, and unavoidable suffering. But Schopenhauer's concept of the will isn't just about individual desires and personal suffering. He argued that this same blind, irrational will drives all of life, all of nature. It's the force that propels the entire universe, leading to a world characterized by constant change, struggle, and suffering. These ideas marked a significant shift in philosophical thought. They challenged the prevailing belief in reason as the guiding force of human behavior and presented a new, more pessimistic view of human nature and the universe. For Schopenhauer, the will was a relentless driver of human action, inevitably leading to suffering. As Schopenhauer put it, compassion is the basis of morality. This statement encapsulates a cornerstone of his philosophical thought, a perspective that was quite unique during his time. While many of his contemporaries were grounding morality in the realms of reason or divine law, Schopenhauer took a different path. He placed compassion, empathy and sympathy at the heart of ethical conduct. Imagine this. You see someone suffering, and a feeling wells up inside you. It's not pity or even sympathy, it's something deeper, more instinctual. It's as if you can feel their pain in your own heart. That, Schopenhauer argued, is compassion. It's an instinctive response to the suffering of others, a response that compels us to act in ways that alleviate their pain. Why would Schopenhauer place such emphasis on compassion? Well, his worldview was one where suffering was an inescapable part of existence. In his eyes, the world is driven by a never-satisfied will, always seeking satisfaction, yet never finding it. This relentless pursuit, Schopenhauer believed, 
is the root cause of our suffering. So in a world where suffering is inherent to existence, what is the most logical response? According to Schopenhauer, it's compassion. Compassion, as a reaction to the suffering of others, becomes a way to mitigate the inherent pain of existence. We can't erase suffering from the world but through compassion, we can help to alleviate it. This focus on compassion is what makes Schopenhauer's philosophy profoundly ethical and humanistic. Despite his generally pessimistic view of life, Schopenhauer saw the potential for good in humanity's innate capacity for compassion. He believed that our ability to empathize with the suffering of others is what drives us to act morally. In Schopenhauer's philosophy, compassion is more than just a virtue, it's not an ideal to strive for or a trait to cultivate. It's an instinct, a fundamental part of our human nature. And it's this instinct, this ability to feel with others, that forms the bedrock of our moral actions. In Schopenhauer's philosophy, compassion emerges not just as a virtue but as the very basis of morality itself. Schopenhauer's philosophy, despite its pessimism, has had a profound and lasting impact. His ideas, especially his emphasis on compassion as the basis of morality, have influenced a wide range of thinkers. Friedrich Nietzsche, for instance, was deeply impacted by Schopenhauer's philosophy. He incorporated and expanded upon many of Schopenhauer's ideas, such as the notion of will and suffering. Beyond Nietzsche, Schopenhauer's influence extends to a variety of existentialist philosophers and psychologists. His explorations of the human condition, of suffering and compassion, have resonated with thinkers who grapple with the meaning and purpose of life. His ideas have also found a place in the realm of psychology, influencing theories of empathy and compassion. Schopenhauer's philosophy with its focus on the will, suffering and compassion, remains relevant today. His ideas continue to be explored, debated and built upon, shaping philosophical thought in profound ways. Thus, through his exploration of the will, suffering and compassion, Schopenhauer's philosophy continues to resonate and influence philosophical thought to this day. Please like and subscribe for more videos.